Hey everyone, Jessica Cabasi here. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to enhance your photo's colors. This is very easy to do, but it is preferred that you use an image that is a little bit washed out or shot backlit, so meaning the sun was behind when you shot the image, such as this one. And it is going to turn out a little different if you use it on images taken direct light side light stuff like that or in the shade so again prefer to use it on an image that is a little more washed out and light the first thing that I'm gonna do is go to layer new adjustment layer and then channel mixer now you're going to first make sure that that output channel is selected to monochrome and so it'll come out as gray and I went ahead and I played around with these um, the best solution that I came up with was Okay, first of all, what I would recommend is going from normal to soft light. So you can actually see what kind of effect it's giving you before you actually do anything. So if you, you know, toggle back and forth, you can kind of see what it's coming out to. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I, what the technique that I preferred was. It's not, nothing too crazy. But already you can see there's a huge difference and I'm just using channel mixer. So I will show you the difference so far. It's already, you know, making the colors a little bit bolder. Next thing that I'm going to do is go to layers, new adjustment layer, and then curves. And this is going to be fairly simple. Something like that. I mean, it's really nothing crazy. You just want to add a little bit of contrast. And the last thing that I'm going to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation. And I'm simply going to higher the saturation. And if you really want to go crazy, you can bring that all the way up to like to even 29. If you're feeling even happier that day, you can just bring it all the way. Just, you know what? Just do 100. Who cares? Just do that. Post that on Facebook. No. Okay, I'm going to move that down though. I think, okay, 30. I think that, that looks pretty good. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you guys before and after. That is before, that's after. And that was fairly easy to do. And again, I'm recommending that you use a backlit image. It's going to show completely different if you use it on an image that's shot in the shade. What I would recommend is you toggle back and forth, especially with channel mixer, if you're using an image that is not uh, backlit or washed out. So that is my personal recommendation. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to show you guys one more before and after. So that's before and after. Thank you guys again for watching, and please leave any suggestions you guys have in the comments.